Hi there, mommy. Today I'm going to go over colostrum harvesting or collecting, why someone might want to do it and the benefits of it, and most importantly, how to do it. Are you ready? Let's go. Be confident and successful in your breastfeeding journey. <laughs> Your colostrum is sometimes called your first milk. So it's what you're going to have in your breast to give baby in the first three to five days after birth before your mature milk comes in. You have colostrum by halfway through your pregnancy. So if you're 20 weeks along or further, you have colostrum. And you can collect it if you'd like. Let's start with what is colostrum. So colostrum is what you have. If you're more than halfway through your pregnancy, you have colostrum. So by 20 weeks and beyond, you have colostrum. If you leak or not, some moms leak during pregnancy and some don't, there's no right or wrong and it doesn't uh, mean you're gonna have more or less milk supply if you leak or not. But colostrum is there even if you're not leaking. So colostrum is condensed super milk, liquid gold for baby, very important in those first few days. It has all of the calories and protein and antibodies in it. It has all the carbohydrates that baby needs, just has everything condensed into a super food. That's why it's sometimes a good idea to have it on hand if you've collected it beforehand. So if baby needs some extra, so but you're probably gonna have just what baby needs, but sometimes things go a little differently than planned and baby needs a little extra boost, which baby can get a supplement, a formula, or donor milk. But if you would like to have your own colostrum on hand for baby, it's a really good idea and it's not that hard to do. It takes a little practice, but you can do it. Colostrum is typically harvested in the last few weeks of pregnancy, so about 36 weeks on. Um, talk to your doctor before you harvest your colostrum. Most doctors won't have a problem at all. Um, so once in a while I run into one that's not comfortable with it. Sometimes people think that it can um, put you into preterm labor, which you would have to be really an extremely high risk pregnancy for that to be a problem. But at 36 weeks and over, your doctor's probably gonna be just fine with it. Now, if you know you're gonna have um, multiples, if you're gonna have twins or triplets, you're probably gonna deliver earlier than 36 weeks, so you might talk to the doctor and see if you can start collecting a little earlier, because if you do have multiples or some other issues that made baby have to come early, or you know baby's gonna need to be in the NICU right away, those babies probably are going to need that colostrum to be on hand. So talk to your doctor and you might um, talk about maybe even collecting it earlier than 36 weeks. Moms who might consider doing this would be moms with diabetes, high BMI, uh, any kind of complications during pregnancy if you had higher blood pressure, if you know baby has some um, congenital issues like cardiac condition or um, cleft palate even, if baby has Down syndrome, any of these kind of things that might make baby uh, need a little bit of extra care and maybe need watched in the NICU right off the bat, you'd really want to consider doing this. Or if you just want to be prepared in case something happens, because we just never know what's going to happen that baby might need a little bit extra colostrum. Now in your planning to harvest your colostrum, also plan to never use this. And I know that sounds crazy, but you want to feed baby from the breast if possible. So if baby's feeding fine from the breast, there's no need to bring this in and use it. It's gonna be very best for your milk supply, for baby, for you, if baby's eating at the breast. And this is just a little extra boost if baby were to have an issue that baby needed just a little bit more of your colostrum. You'll want to be expressing your colostrum two to three times a day. There's no need to increase this amount don't add any extra stress on your life. That should be just right two to three times a day. And when you get the amount that you want, you can quit. So just it might just take you a couple of weeks or you might be working that whole last month to collect your colostrum. In each session that you express colostrum, you wanna express on both breasts twice. So do one side, the other, one side, and then the other. And then that's a session and then later in the day, another session would be great. Now your colostrum will probably look 
thick and sticky. It'll be a small amount. It's usually kind of yellow, gold, or even orange colored. But if yours looks pale or thin, don't worry about it. There's nothing wrong with that. And doing this expressing while you're still pregnant isn't going to increase or decrease your milk supply when baby's born. It won't have an effect on that. So don't think if I do this, it will help my supply, or if I do this, it will hurt my supply. Don't let any of that bother you. That's not a concern. Let your doctor or midwife and staff all know beforehand and as soon as you get there, remind them that you have collected colostrum. They may have a freezer for you to store it in. Otherwise, when you take it to the hospital, take it in a cooler bag with a freezer pack. If you happen to be a mom who leaks a lot right now in pregnancy already, that will save you a step. You can get collection cups. These are boob shells collection cups. And you wear this in your bra just like this. It kind of feels a little weird, but it's really not very noticeable. And your leaks, instead of going into a pad, they leak right into this container. You just sanitize this. The back is flexible and comes off. And if it gets filled with milk, you can just pour it into your container. And these are really great for afterwards because most moms leak quite a bit after baby's born. But if you happen to be leaking already in pregnancy, then you can use that milk, if this is sanitized, for harvesting your colostrum too. I recommend that moms collect about 12 to 24 mils to take with them to the hospital. I know that's not a lot, but that's usually just the perfect amount. If you want to collect more, you can, but again, don't stress yourself out. Now you might be thinking that you'll collect your colostrum by pumping with electric pump or this is a manual pump and you could but it's probably going to be such a small amount just drops those 12 to 24 mils that it's probably not going to be enough to even go into the container and, and it'll just get stuck in the flange tunnel here and wasted. It's going to be such a small amount. So instead there's a couple other ways that we harvest it. And that would be, you can express, and I'll show you how to express, into a cup and then put it into a syringe. So this is a syringe, just great for harvesting. I'll put links to any of this down in the description so you can check it out. But this is a one mil syringe that you can just pull it back to harvest your colostrum. Be sure that you get the ones with the caps on them and you want to mark every container. These were good if you, um, you know, collected 24 of these, then mark your name, the date, and the time, and then put all of these in a Ziploc bag or a storage container, Tupperware container, to put in the freezer and then take with you. Now, these are what most moms use, and they're very inexpensive. You can get a one to five mil syringe, um, but these are a little hard to draw the milk out with. You could have someone help you or you can express one little drop and then pull it out into the syringe yourself. I really like these Hakka silicone colostrum collectors. It just makes it really easy to collect that little tiny drop. On your syringes be sure that you mark again name, date, and time. I use an address label and just fold it over. I put it at the top so that you can see the measurements fine. Now for the syringes, you can get a huge box if you wanted a lot of them, one mil or the five mils. Um, those are great. Now these, the Hakka ones are a little more expensive. They come in a box with a six pack and it comes with, you can get them less. I think you can buy three too, but this is the six pack standard size. And they come with a case and they come with really great labels, but they're kind of big to me, so that covers the container. But you can put this on a baggie or on your box that you take it in. So on these, I use address labels too. And I just did two address labels together on here, so it's on both sides. And this cap stays connected, so you're not going to lose the cap. And so it's easy to mark your information right there on it. And these are great for later, for giving baby, you'll feed baby with this, and you also feed baby your colostrum with the syringe if you use that. But these are great for later when baby's older, if you need, need to give medicine, uh, it's a great way to give baby their medicine. And when you collect with these, you can squeeze it, and I'll show you in a minute, and collect that little bit of colostrum. But if you're getting more colostrum out, you can take this little cap off 
and and um, express right into that opening. You can also express into a small medicine cup and then put it into a syringe or collection container from there. I'm going to go over the basics of hand expressing, but be patient with yourself because everyone has a learning curve. It takes a little while to get in the groove of what works for you. If you have someone nearby that can help you out and you're comfortable with that, that would be good. When you're collecting your colostrum, um, someone else can draw up the colostrum in a syringe or the container and help you out there. Be sure that your area is sanitary, of course. Wash your hands, scrub your nails really well. You want everything to be super clean. Be sure you're somewhere comfortable and you're warm enough. Uh, apply some heat beforehand can help get everything flowing. And then we're going to start with some gentle massage techniques. And then some light rubbing towards your nipple just to get everything going. Now you're not working and pumping it out like you're milking a cow. This is just getting the hormones to work. Getting your body to say, yes, we're going to make prolactin, we're going to make oxytocin, and we're going to get this milk moving or colostrum moving. When you're expressing, you want to have your hand on your areola, not in next to your nipple. To be sure that your hand's out far enough, you're going to put your hand over your breast with your nipple between your fingers. So two fingers above and two fingers below your nipple. Um, the outside of those fingers shows you where your hand should be. So put your hand there in a C shape and to start expressing we're going to push in towards the chest wall, compress, and then release. In towards the chest wall, compress, release. You'll start moving your hand around your breast, in, compress, release. It's not a fast process. Keep going, in, compress, and release. You might not see any milk the first few days. It may take a few days before you start to see some milk, but it will happen. Once you start to see the drops, You'll draw the colostrum up with a syringe or your colostrum collector or into a cup, whatever's working best for you. Your colostrum can be added all together throughout the day, but at the end of the day, whatever you've collected needs to go into the freezer. I wanted to go over breast milk storage really quickly. So your colostrum has the same storage guidelines as breast milk. So I teach moms four, five, six. It's just easy to remember. That means your freshly pumped milk can sit out unrefrigerated on the counter if it's going to be used for four hours, okay, four. Five days in the refrigerator, six months in the freezer. And it can be up to 12 months in a deep freeze. So we want to cut all of those times in half if your baby has any health concerns or a preemie. To thaw out any breast milk, if it's frozen, you can just set it into the refrigerator and let it thaw slowly. It probably takes about 12 hours to thaw, depending on the size of the container. But you can thaw it very quickly by just setting the container in a glass of water, even cold water. It only takes about 20 minutes and it will be thawed out. Once the milk has thawed or colostrum, it's only good for 24 hours, so it has to be finished within 24 hours. If baby has had the container in their mouth, so if you feed baby with this, they need to finish it within an hour of starting that container because bacteria can grow back into the milk. So one hour once they've started to take the, the container or bottle. I know that was quite a bit to go over. I hope it made sense. If you've enjoyed this and it was helpful, please give me a quick thumbs up. Ask any questions you have below and I'll try to get back to you just as soon as possible. If you end up not using this collected colostrum, just remember you need to celebrate that things went great and you didn't need to use it. Thanks a lot, Mommy. You got this.